Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a reading for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer or Cross Watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, and even if you do not, please try to claim this energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself, or just leave this reading right where it is for someone else. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Cancer, please. Thank you. All right, guys, here we go. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of cancer. Cancer energy is fluid. I can be speaking about you as somebody in your energetic field, and it could be past, present, or future. Show me the energy so that we can see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? Yeah. Clearly and concisely, ancestors, please and thank you for everyone's highest good. Any planetary placement of cancer. Show me what I need to see. We're truly, truly grateful. Well, you're going to see something so clearly it's going to blind you, okay? And whatever this is, you may decide to move away from it very quickly. You may decide to, listen, the chariot is when you take some kind of significant action to have some kind of significant change. Usually, you want some kind of success in a situation, and you want control over it. The chariot is overcoming any obstacles to a victory. Whatever this is that you see clearly, you see what obstacles you need to overcome to a victory, and you know what path you want to take. Some of you might be traveling. Some of you might be getting a new car. Somebody could be 72, 27, or 9. Could be of significance, perhaps September. So, yeah, it's cancer energy. So, the 7th, like I said, maybe July. There we go. Now, you got a page of swords. At the foundation situation, somebody was trying to gather some kind of information, whatever it was. This is a very vigilant, alert, inspired energy. Somebody that wants to know something, whatever it is. Could be anybody. The office gossip, the nosy neighbor, a friend, a relative, a friend of me. Anybody that you went in any kind of relationship. Could be somebody younger. Could be somebody that has air in their chart. Somebody's very opinionated. Somebody might want to blast your business. Somebody might be gossipy. Very gossipy. Also, somebody might like to canoe here. I'm seeing BMX biking. BMX biking. Somebody's got blue nail polish on. Okay, four of ones. Crowning you, this is happiness. This is good. This is Aries energy. You could have a reason to celebrate. Some kind of excitement. Also, it's stability. Also, it could be a reunion. So there could be somebody that's watching somebody that wants to have some kind of reunion. And when you get this clear vision of whatever this is, you see it so clearly. Maybe you're going to move towards this person, right? Maybe some of you move away. Maybe some of you move towards whatever this is. Some kind of happiness, some kind of community. Somebody's doing some kind of henna tattoo. Because it can also be a reunion. I feel like somebody's watching somebody that wants to get back together with somebody. Show me what's going on. So now what's um, coming in the near future for Kansas? By the way, Kansas, I'm going to be 47 here. 42. Thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day voluntarily to join us. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're so fucking grateful for your presence. And whether or not anybody else has told you this today, we love you. Solid and unconditional to fact. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. Coming in the near future, what you don't see is a page of ones in reverse. So you could be dealing with something that's a little immature or perhaps younger. Maybe, you know, somebody's not feeling very creative here. Somebody could be bored or struggling. It is a level of immaturity. It's a page of ones in reverse. Somebody may be unrealistic or moody. Tell me. Maybe demanding or impulsive. That could be an impulsive energy. Show me how you're perceiving that. How are you perceiving this energy? This page of ones in reverse. Fire. Aries Lee or Sagittarius. Show me. Please and thank you. Okay, you're perceiving it like, okay. You know, the star came in on the shelf. So this could be a reunion. And, but you're not sure if it's going to make you very happy. Because with the star upside down, this is when you feel like you have no hope. You could be depressed. Maybe there's no healing or no reunion or, you know, no gifts, no wishes coming true, no success. Upright, it's, it's everything you want. It's happiness, healing, success. You're on a shelf about this. You're not really sure. Maybe this person is a little too immature. Maybe, right? Because you're dealing with a page here, regardless. I feel like it's the same person. 17 could be of significance or 8. Aquarius energy could be of significance. Somebody might feel hopeless here. Like, you know... Somebody may want some healing and some renewal here, but it may seem hopeless. This may seem hopeless. Show me what three of wands in reverse. Well, yeah. So now because of that, 
Somebody has some kind of, you know, lack of direction. There's a lack of progress because of this. There could be obstacles or delays in the way. See, this is what? Because somebody feels hopeless, they're not sure what they want to do. The idea here is, is whatever you see that's true, maybe that you're dealing with somebody immature here, then to, you know, move in a direction towards success. Whatever that is for you. Or maybe it's towards the person. It could be different for everybody. Somebody give me 34 here. Yeah. Now listen. Playing for your healing sound bath in the background, Cancer. It's set at 369 megahertz. 369 hertz. We are working on our third eye chakra, which is located in the center of your forehead. It's for intuition, understanding, clarity, and self-reflection. Seeing things clearly. The color would be this dark indigo around the outside of the amulet. The mantra would be, I see, I see. It is the element of light. Soda light, lapis lazuli, blue, appetite, amethyst, or... Clear quartz will always work. What's the best advice for cancer? Any planetary placement, please. The best advice is, oh, see, so put a little love in your heart. There is going to be a new emotional awakening here. Even if somebody seems a little immature, I think the truth is going to be that there's a reunion going to happen and you're going to be very happy about it. All right? You really are. You're seeing this as some kind of hope for your future then. You may be unsure, but I really feel like deep down in your heart, you feel like this is what you really want. You know, it's going to make you very happy. So, Spirit's advising you to go for it. It's okay. This is new love, new emotional awakening, and new feelings of happiness. Did you see where the fuck that ran? Wow. Okay, you got two ones. Make a decision. This is about planning. It's about coming out of a comfort zone and making a first step, step in a, you know, on the path to success. Maybe at crossroads, you know, and then deciding. And whatever decision you decide, very um, deliberately stepping in that direction. Somebody may be stuck up in their head trying to make this decision. Oh, but there's some finances involved. That's good. Oh, somebody's got a lot of money coming in, Cancer. 999, 999 megahertz, 999 hertz, shamanic killing of Archangel Michael. You have a lot of money coming in somehow, some way. I don't know if it's an inheritance or if it's something that you built, some kind of legacy. It's, it's, it's enough prosperous resources for some long-term abundance here, okay? It's a solid foundation of stability and wealth. And you could be, you know, uh, you could have built this yourself, Okay. You could be enjoying the fruits of your labor. Solo success. Wealth and privilege. You got the king and the queen of wands here. Ooh, and the empress. Some kind of painful ending. Whatever this is, though, you found a soulmate here. And somebody can be very fertile. Whatever you're creating here is going to turn into the ten of pentacles. Look, you're going to take the lead with somebody here. So let's see what's going on. Let's get you some of these. Now, did I tell you you got Virgo? Hmm, Aquarius. Aries and Cancer, Cancer. Here we go. Somebody's about to take the lead, the passionate lead in a certain direction. Somebody might start some kind of a new career that's a little out of the ordinary. People are going to look at you like you're a little strange, but I don't think you're really going to give a shit. Whatever this is, you were meant to do it and you're good at it. You got a four of cups. Somebody can be disgusted in a situation right now, maybe apathetic or bored. Somebody may feel disconnected and maybe needs to sit in some contemplation. Here we go. Now, you got the 11th. There's fairness and balance coming into a situation. That's it. Okay? Justice. Libra energy. That's it. So, whatever was unjust is karma correctness in your life now. Or it's going to be. This is it. It's Libra energy. Any planetary placement. The 11th could be of significance. Or perhaps November. This is cause and effect. It's a win-win solution. And also, the truth comes out. Oh, the truth comes out. Yeah. Look. About a two of cups. You wouldn't somebody else going to feel the same way about each other. And it's going to be a wish come true. There it is, the 17th card again. This could be somebody that has Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus highly planted in their chart someplace. All right? So this comes to karma correctness. It's going to be new love for you, Cancer. This is what you... Listen, even if this person's a little immature, this truth is going to come out to the star upright twice. That's it. Okay? Yep. You're gonna, oh, then, look, then we got the chariot again. See, so you're going to be focused on some kind of success with this situation. Get out of your head. Yeah. Now... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get you some hidden truths, Cancer. Cancer, could you do us a favor? Please hit that like and subscribe. Or the dislike if you can't stand me. But please, get your energy in, the message out. Get your word heard. We're very grateful. We really appreciate it. Somebody can be 42 here. Here we go. I will play our conversations over and over again. Did I tell you this is somebody that I think wants to come back around? They're just watching and waiting to see when the time is right. They're so attracted to you. And they left before you could leave them. So this is somebody that thought you were going to leave them anyway. We need to let each other go. Somebody needs to let somebody go here. Here's some romance angels. The Cancer. Cancer. Any planetary placement. We love you, Cancer. 
We have, oh, whoa, we have. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation, allow every situa situation to unfold naturally. You also have, stay optimistic about your love life and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and stay with the positive thinking. It will bring you the romance you're looking for. Heart to heart conversation. Make sure you're being honest with yourself first and foremost and then everybody else. Discuss your feelings with each other. Show me what's going on here. Astrological placements or moon phases that may be of significance. It's a t it's time for healing now, okay? And that's the end of that. It's the end of a tough cycle. This is why. You could be dealing with somebody that's Capricorn in their chart. Maybe you do. I don't know. Also, Scorpio. You have the last quarter moon. Reveal what needs to be seen. You got the full moon in Capricorn and the balsamic moon. You got the full moon again. Surrender to the divine. Always and forever, right? Now... That's allowing things to unfold naturally. Here is some letters. Somebody has a black cat. I see a black cat. Okay. You have two G's. Here in New Hampshire. You have BR. Okay. You have two G's, two N's, two H's. Wow, something about some kind of doubles. Right? And what else do we have? I, E, a blank, and a Z. All right, you ready? G, G, N, N, H, H. B, R, D, a bird? Bird? Yeah, bird. I, E, and a blank. Close the energy for cancer, please. Thank you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love and let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Calm is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.